to London If you find time, we can run one Talk about some things we can undo You just in the pen, I can find you 6-1 on the money, 9-2 You just say the word and I run through Two texts, no reply, that's when I knew I knew, I knew, yeah. I, I knew Circumnavigate the globe as the cash grows Get a nigga whack like you get the grass mold I'm talking slick when I'm with the big slime, nigga Could hit your bitch, you can never hit mine, nigga In my DM, they electric side, nigga No catfishing, this is not a fish fry, nigga Never switch sides on my dog Catch a con Hey y'all, it's your girl Shireen here with another video and this time around we're going to get into another protective hairstyle. I've decided to do the jumbo twist, I guess you can call it, or Senegal twist or rope twist. To dazzle it, I added beads towards the some of the, some of the ends, not all of the ends, but majority of the ends have beads, um, jumbo beads. I really like it. It took me two hours to do this. Um... It didn't take me long at all. I used two packs of Calliculine hair, color 1B. Yeah, I used two packs of Calliculine hair, color 1B. It took me two hours. I literally didn't need much of any product. Um, I was pretty lazy at the time I did it. I only used this gel. Uh, I literally did it moments before going to work. So, like, normally, like, Traditionally, if you guys follow me, you guys know that I do not like to record while doing my hair. But because this uh, protective hairstyle is so easy to do, I could have record while doing it. Because literally all you need to do is just part your sections. Um, you can moisturize it with any type of um, hair milk or leave-in conditioner or curling pudding. And then apply your gel. And then after you saturate your hair with the gel, you just begin twisting. Now, one thing I like to mention now is that for the back of my head, uh, for the back of my head, I definitely did more of a free parting and I did the rubber band method. So I did the rubber band method and I did free parting. As I got to the front of my head, I did more of formal uniformed parting just so that um i don't know that it looks neat and the way that i twisted it in the front i did not do the um rubber band method because i wanted it to be more of a natural look i wanted it to lay flat as if it's possibly could have been my hair i wanted to give it that natural look that it's growing out of my scalp this is i believe about 40 inches in total i have okay I remember when I was counting the front, so there's like eight here, eight on each side, eight in the back, and then eight on the bottom. So what is that? 16 and 16, 32. 32 twists in total. I started off in the back first, and then I worked my way to the front. Like I said, the front, the back is more um, freestyle parting. The front, I did more uniform parting. They're boxed um, parting. Um... I did four here, and then after that, I did um, three here, and then one here. So, yeah. It, it literally took me, the fact that it took me two hours is insane. I'm not snugging on my edges. That's what, oops. that's one thing I love about this is that I'm not snugging on my edges. So, this is going to be like a protective hairstyle that's going to be like, in my top three because lately i've been doing a lot of knotless braids um and granted the knotless braids is a really good protective hairstyle but um when i do them i don't do them jumbo i do them really really tiny so it takes me long to do it and then it takes me even longer to remove them so for me to do this in two hours i can i can tell that it's going to take me probably 30 minutes tops to remove these things um I want to show you guys how to do them because, um, like I said, the front and the back is done completely different. The front is done without rubber band and the back is done with rubber band. So I'm going to unravel this very one. I honestly could cut this, but I don't want to because the length of this matches this twist. Each one that's beaded, the other side is beaded. 
the one that doesn't have a bead the other side doesn't have a bead like I try to be very symmetrical in that sense to give my hair do a bit of um swag to it a clean swag because these are about two days old or three days old I'm just gonna spritz it with water I'm not gonna add too much gel being how it already has dry gel in it so I'm gonna just take this much and then you just want to saturate the whole um the whole hair with gel you're gonna divide your parting in half right and then you take your piece of hair twist it place it in the very middle twist one side one way and the other side the opposite way hold it and just try to continue doing that and then you're just gonna overlap them now once you overlap it you want to still twist in the form that it's going while twisting while overlapping if that makes sense and then there you have it your jumbo rope twist Senegal twist um what else do people call this jumbo twist senegal twist um havana twist that's all that there is to it and if you want to add a rubber band just so that your twist is secure i guess like if you're going on vacation and you know you're going to get in the water or whatever the case is wait a minute <laughs> I twisted it wrong. Hold on. Oh, Lord. That's okay. Let's do this again because it was about to be a full lock. <laughs> but you're going to twist it, right? Why did it come out like that? You just, there you go. There you go. That's that's look like. I'm gonna add a little more product, being how I had to unravel that real quick. Um, I forgot what I was gonna say. Oh, if you're gonna use rubber bands, um, you can like say if you're going on vacation and you know you're gonna get in the water. I would use rubber bands just to just to secure the root. As time passed, they get frizzy, and it looks more natural. So if, if that happens and you don't have it secured with a rubber band, it may unravel and you wouldn't want that on vacation. I can't believe I twisted it wrong in front of you guys. <laughs> that's real, that's real love because if it was another YouTuber, they probably would have edited that out. <laughs> Things happen. As long as you catch your mistakes before, um, you know, before it's too late, then you're good. So at times when you're twisting, it's good to just um, pull up. That's a method on it like securing the twist so that it doesn't unravel too excessively. Cause it will, cause all of these did look like this when I was done. I'm a, I'm a play a clip of when I was actually like completely done. And even in that moment it kind of unraveled so um in a sense like it got it, it became a little more loose it wasn't as uniform and tight like how it is right now because I'm holding it but I'm telling you once I let it go and even like once the gel dries and things of that nature it's going to you know look like these take your rubber band black clear whatever floats your boat some people can t would tie a knot, but I rather prefer to use a rubber band just so that I know that it isn't going to unravel anytime soon. And then once you let it go, look, once I let it go, it becomes 
You see how it just... And I... Oh! Oh, no. See, now, look. We have a problem. This is why I don't like to um, do my hair on camera. Because <laughs> it's like, I'm not giving my hair that full attention. I don't know why that happened. <laughs> I really don't know why. And, like, the whole... The rest of the twist is actually really good. That's crazy that that happened. What the frick, like... Okay, we're gonna do this again. <laughs> you gonna split it? Maybe I twisted it wrong. Let's go the opposite way. This way. And we're gonna wrap it. So I only twist one side. And then I wrapped. I'm so mad that happened in front of you guys. I'm so mad that happened. At least you know what to expect. And if that happens, you just gotta do it again, sis. You just, you just have to do the twist over again. And that's fine. Pull up. And you know what's so funny? When I was actually doing it, cause this is actually my first time ever doing this hairstyle. I never did, I never did this hairstyle so when i did it the other day it was my first time doing it i watched a whole bunch of youtube videos and the the ones in the back came out really good and then when i got to the front because i no longer was using the um rubber bands for um for um to secure the root even when i did the front like what just happened did not happen so I'm surprised that it even happened. I don't know. You guys make me nervous. <laughs> okay. Now, secure it with the band. And then you let it go. There we go. That's what it's supposed to look like. How I do one side, I make sure the other side looks exactly the same. So basically, you place the hair in. Some people use this like tool thing to put the tool in and then it, you put your hair through the loop and then you pull the tube out the other end and then boom, bam, it's through the bead. But because these beads are so big, I don't really need it. And the packaging that these beads came in anyway didn't come with that tool. I bought these beads at my local um, beauty supply store. I'll just show you one. I think I still have the packaging. I bought one pack of black beads, jumbo black beads, another one of... Um, beads that came that were tan and then I bought these these are a bit um, smaller the holes are pretty much the same size and then I bought these these are the clamps so what I did was I used the clamps as a bead in a sense as well to just to give my um, hair do a bit gold touch flavor drip sauce <laughs> now for the back it's pretty much the same thing it's just that I use the rubber band to hold my hair and um I use the crochet needle I use the crochet needle at once I place the rubber band I use the crochet needle to go in between um to pull the hair extensions through and then I pulled my hair that was um being held by the rubber band i pulled my hair into two to um match the two extensions and then i just twist i didn't need to do the whole weird twisting to make sure that it locks at the root because the rubber band was there to do that for me for the most part i really like it i like that the fact that it's really light i like the fact that it took me two hours to do this hairstyle i like the fact that um i did really large spacing and so and it's just it still looks cute like it doesn't look raggedy it still looks like you know chic it still looks chic um yeah thank you guys for watching it's your girl shireen here signing out you have your havana jumbo twist senegal rope twist protective hairstyle for the rest of 2019 <laughs> and then some <laughs> okay now for real for real i'm signing out thank you guys for watching it's your girl shireen here peace